the potential and authority of the people of India, Pakistan, and the region to fight to solve the perfect storm and for existence by means of, with, enriched agroforests and its products, ancestral one. We claim that agroforestry practices by their ancestors played an important role in their success in the past, and that they today once again present a key potential and opportunity to promote and practice a similar agroforests. This will once again solve their threats and perfect storm, this way efficiently protecting their existence and having exceptional success and thriving once more. We claim that by assisting and promoting the videos of this channel and by promoting agroforests and the development of agroforests in their region, they also present an example and model for the rest of the world that seems to find itself in impasse, to follow in their steps and do the same, altogether protecting existence, solving the perfect storm including conflicts and wars, and promoting quality of life of and in the whole world. Importance and ancestral weight of these people of India, Pakistan, and their region. The people of India, Pakistan, Philippines, Indonesia, Australia, Oceania, etc. had their own regional ancestors that did not come from Africa. The ancestors of the region have much more to do with the Austronesian expansion and the Americas than with any Africa expansion. The human Y chromosome haplogroups H, L, and R, the same for C, D, O, etc., are the result of waves of expansion of the expanded Austronesian expansion type that 1. Expanded from Australia, Oceania, and the Americas. 2. Expanded from the east westwards, including towards Africa. These haplogroups and expansions are well documented, but never seen by consensus in the light of the above mentioned mostly regional expansions. The Homo erectus, Denisovan, Neanderthal, etc. expansions, which are hundreds of thousands of years older than the supposed African expansion, also point out the extreme importance of the here discussed region, India, Pakistan, and region. Ancestry and Agroforestry This video also talks about the importance of ancestral practices based on humus in agroforests for the survival of modern humans in this actual time of crisis and perfect storm. Ancestral agroforests were forests enriched with dark, deep soils rich in sequestered carbon, which abundantly produced food and material. In order to better understand how Amerindians and descendants managed to enrich forests and soils, it is better in a first step to simplify the reality and imagine that these ancestors planted and reinforced these forests with additional species, and also enriched the soils of these forests with humus or terra preta which is actually carbon dioxide sequestered from the atmosphere that make the soils deeper and more carbon-rich and stains the humus and soils dark. Carbon is black. Improving the structure and fertility of these soils. While this is, or was, the basis of and essential to our existence, we suppose that few people are really aware of this because it is not given attention and that is also the reason we are blind for the enormous potential of enriched agroforests when it comes to solving our threats but also production, which is up to 100-fold. It could compare to the 100-mile Goejo Azalea Forest in China or a tropical orchard, only with more species, composition, forest structure, and much deeper, carbon-rich soils. The difference is that this azalea forest is more recent and does not produce food and materials. We mention it only to illustrate how humans can modify forests and a whole region. In ancestral or enriched agroforests, the soil is being systematically enriched, adding humus, etc., thus sequestering CO2, minerals, etc., to enrich the structure and fertility of soils and forests. The energy source for all this is solar energy captured by forests. For more details, please watch our videos on agroforestry and existence. Urban areas, cities, etc. could continue in the locations and with the infrastructure they have today, but with the climate regulated by surrounding agroforests. This way, with our help, these forests would sequester far more than 100 billion tons of CO2 each year, directly and indirectly. In addition to regulating the local and planetary climate, they would also lower the level of the oceans, because they do not need irrigation. The deep soils capture and filter water and feed or rather refeed the aquifers. The production of food and materials can be 100 times more per hectare and is daily and varied, and not a few times a year with just one limited product, as is in the case with monocultures. Go for agroforests and humus. Science has discovered no other way to 1. 
sequester carbon on a large scale. Two, generate and regulate the humidity that the food, material, and water-producing agroforestry and aquifers needs. Three, cooling the local and planetary climate. Four, biodiversity would control zoonoses and epidemics. Few people know about this essential association for life and existence. A clear voice is action. A clear voice of Indians, Pakistanis, and other peoples, especially those who speak or understand English or Portuguese, could and would make a difference. It could lead the world towards solutions and an effective action plan. An action plan could resolve threats to humanity in general and to certain countries and areas most threatened or prone to economic damage in particular. Use of our videos, etc. Our videos, etc. are spoken in English, Portuguese, and some are also in Dutch, Spanish, and French. We will try to publish at least this specific video in regional languages like Hindi, etc. We hope that translators, proofreaders, and or editors will appear and present their opinion and work. We are also looking for partnerships to edit and improve all our other English videos, etc. Our videos, etc. can be freely used, published, or translated. We only ask to include links to our videos, channels, etc. and recognition of our authorship, when appropriate. Ancestors and the importance of knowing them. Agroforestry and enriched ADE soils solve the climate challenge and other threats. In the last decade, scientists have discovered that Amerindians and indigenous peoples played an essential role in the formation of the soils of the Amazon rainforest and other tropical forests and their climate. These soils and forests still exercise biotic pump and cooling effects in the regions of the forest itself, also indirectly regulating the planet's climate, etc. Origin and ancestry and understanding of the actions of our ancestors will play a fundamental role in solving the actual threats to humanity. Better understanding of the important role in the past of India, Pakistan, and their region will also be key to solving the threats of modern times and the preservation of existence in general. Together with Amazonian Amerindians, some of the authors of this video participated in a 1,000-hectare research project that applied a manual, non-invasive, and non-destructive technique and methods similar to the technique that the Amazonian Amerindians used to enrich forest soils and the Amazon rainforest in a relatively deep past. The importance of manifesting. We call India, Pakistan, other regional peoples, and all the world's indigenous peoples to make themselves seen and heard online, and to make the rest of the world aware of, scientifically proven, solutions of the threats, and eventually solving all threats to humanity, in a first step, simply by assisting our channels and broadcasting our links directly and indirectly to others and the world. Global Polarity Global polarity fuels and accelerates the ongoing perfect storm that already includes disease X, AMR, etc. Global Polarity 1. Makes the powerful make more money from monocultures, massive acquisitions of fertile land, conflicts, and scarcity. 2. Turns 8 billion humans into passive spectators and victims, threatens democracy and possibly existence, etc. Daily consumption by a critical mass of humans will decide. A growing mass of humans who 1. Pass on or broadcast links and references to our videos and website with action plan and enriched agroforests. 2. Choosing to consume food and goods from enriched agroforests, organic, would solve such polarization, dehumanization, the perfect storm, and the threat of war. Even though it would make the rich and powerful invest, too, in enriched agroforestry systems, this would further reinforce the solution of the perfect storm, etc., regardless of everything. There is no way this action plan wouldn't work. If you like this episode, please subscribe to our channel and give a like. Thanks for your attention.